Hello guys, welcome to Film for Mali and today's review we are doing the tips, tricks, and features and settings of video of the Realme 12 Plus and this is the Navigator Beach color of the Realme 12 Plus and you can see this is the AGB to variant and you can see the sides as well. So guys, anyways, let's start off from the most interesting features. So let me start off from the camera. So I'm gonna just draw an O over here. And you can see instantly it went to the camera and for the flashlight i'm just drawing a v you can see instantly the flashlight is turned on and again i'm drawing v to turn it off and if i want to go to a specific application like your favorite application let it be call of duty bgm or anything i'm just drawing an app arrow over here you can see it instantly went to my preferred Arduino benchmark over here you can see it automatically went to the Arduino benchmark and next if i just want to go to my files i'm just drawing an m over here simply an m it would automatically go to my files and if i want to go to cpu roll test you can see i just draw a w you can see instantly the cpu roll test appeared so we can set it up with ease so how to set that up just go to settings and just scroll down to find this option addition selling just tap over here and you can see gestures and motion just tap over here and you can see screen of gestures so everything is over here just turn it on and double tap to turn or wake the screen on and off you can just and the other ones that we have already discussed throw O to open camera V to turn on or off flashlight then next draw this arrow right arrow for the next music draw a left arrow for the previous music and you can draw this bar with two fingers and it instantly the music will be play or pause so it's a lot of interesting stuff that's the music control and then we can assign three applications so you can see draw app arrow just tap over here and open and up select your preferred applications from your instant set of applications and just Turn this icon also on that automatically you can assign it to that so just another app you can see set to another app the third option is also there so you can set three of your favorite apps over there itself so that's the first feature and next is the basic simple features like taking a screenshot just a three finger swipe down instantly takes your screenshot and what if this portion contains some confidential data? that means you need to share only this portion then you can just press and hold with three fingers like this and you can see a draggable area piece select the area which you only need no need for crop after that just select the area that's it you're good to go and if you want to write something this is very important so write note and you can set the color type of the pen everything so a lot of customization option with any sort of uh, uh, colors can be set over there so that's the super screenshot i would say so that option is also available then another feature is turn on off torch with volume down button i will show you how to set that up so i have just turned on what happens is if i just press and hold the volume down button when the screen is locked you can see the flash is turned on and if i again press and hold the volume down button when the screen is locked you can see it turned off that's a simple so though you don't need to even touch the display for unlocking the or using the uh, torch so that's it it's a super interesting thing without pressing any buttons i'm just going to unlock my phone i'm just lifting my phone up and that's it you can instantly unlock your phone how to set that just go to settings and just scroll down to find the same option additional things and over here just tap the gestures and motions just tap over here and you can see turn on raised wing that's the first thing you have to do and the next thing is just go back to the security and privacy and just tap the device lock over here so you can see uh device unlock and you can see currently it is uh, set screen lock just tap the pattern so i have already set a pattern for the moment right now and as you have already set the pattern then you need to do enable your face recognition as well as fingerprint so i have also enabled the face recognition. so so and then after enabling the face recognition, you need to turn on this feature enter home screen after unlocking if i turn off what happens is Whenever I lift my phone up instantly with the help of raised wake feature, the phone would be raised up and you can see it's unlocked, but you need a swipe to enter to the home screen. But when you disable this feature, enter home screen for unlock. Just turn on this feature. What happens is whenever your phone is detected, instantly it wins to the home screen. So that's it. So let's go back to the same set of features which we are discussing. So that's in the raised settings and just scroll down to the gestures and motions. And over here, that was the raised wake. Then apart from lift to ear to answer calls, that means you are receiving an incoming call and just lift your phone to ear automatically answers the call. And then apart from auto switch to receive, that means if you are in speaker and speaking with your someone uh, and instantly some stranger or the person which you are not well familiar of comes into your room. So you 
did not want the call to be in speaker and just lift your phone directly to the ear while the phone is in speaker instantly the it will switch from the speaker directly to the earpiece so that is auto switch to receiver then the flip to mute incoming calls that's simple just when you're receiving incoming call just flip up your phone instantly it mutes the call how would you lock your phone just double tap your logo your phone or press this power button no i would say virtually press this power button so i'm gonna press it virtually you can see instantly the power button is pressed how to set this up you can see a small icon over here and this is called assistive touch and i have set to three set of functions you can see just a single tap for one function that's the lock which i have set and if i just double tap you can see instantly it will take a screenshot and if i press and hold i don't need to swipe the notification panel if i just press and hold over here you can see the notification panel it appears like this so how to set this up and actually you can just go to settings and way back to the same location ID settings and you can see the assistive ball just tap over here and these are the three set of functions but i will say this is very limited you can see just a few one two three four five six seven just seven features you can only set but we can have one more option that's the tab menu that means just if you tap over you can select all these five options at a grand itself but the thing is actually these are the basic set of options just take a screenshot we have already have this basic screenshot layout so if uh, you are interested in this type of just single press double press and all you can just make use of this assistive ball feature else you can just keep it right away so it's a matter of personal friends currently you can see i'm using this button navigation which is a traditional and i want to update to the latest gesture navigation you can see the system navigation option over here just tap over here and you can see gestures just tap the gestures and it is really fun to use just swipe up for the home you can see just swipe up and for the reasons swipe up and stop in the middle you can see the reasons and best part is switching between the ads is like scrolling photos to the gallery you can see it's like just scrolling photos to the gallery you can just simply usually we just do like this and select the next application and again select the next application and now wow see so that is really fast and quick and currently you can see you can't see any of the uh, idea for this uh, how to make the home and also we have an option you can see high gesture guide but it is currently turned on so you can just off it then you can see a small guide bar to give you a minor idea that i would definitely recommend this for just familiarization for the first few days and let's go back and the next is the 100 mode you can see just turn it on and just a simple swipe down instantly turns on 100 mode and just a tap over here it instantly goes back just a simple swipe down like this that's you're good to go so that's the 100 more which is also available over here and this is the hb 250 variant of the realme 12 plus and you can see it can be extended up to 8 plus age you can just tap the ram and you can see expand up to 8 gb so 8 plus 8 16 gb of ram would be over here in this variant now let's move to most interesting that's uh lock apps hide apps system clone ran also just have the settings and just scroll down you can see security and privacy and over at the bottom you can see app log hide apps privacy system log, everything is over here so let's start from the app log just tap on the app log and you can just got it just so just turn the app log on and you can see set a privacy password first so just have the settings so you can just select the type either you can select a pattern pin alpha numeric so i'm just going to be selecting a pattern over here so let it be like this a quick one so that's it and answers some random questions and that's it and uh, i'm gonna lock out of the benchmark as well as and it asked whether i want to use my fingerprint scanner or the face option so i'm just gonna be using at this time and also enable the cpu roll test so these two are the features i'm gonna be locked and uh, you can see uh, let me log one more that should be the chrome so now if i open the chrome you can see so the application is already locked and i need to use my fingerprint scanner to get it unlocked but where for the very next time if i open the chrome you can see it open without any lock so each and every time so if i just do the same with the Arduino widget let me open the Arduino widget you can see let me use my fingerprint scanner so and it's done and the very next time if i open the Arduino widget you can see it open without any lock and the same thing with the cpu test so let me open the cpu throttle test yeah it's over here and i'm going to use my face instruction so you can see it's unlocked with my face and very next time the same issue see so each and every time how to log the application while you exit so again just go to the same location settings and just scroll down to find this option privacy and uh, uh, security and privacy and just scroll down and uh, tap the app lock and to use your fingerprint scanner or face whatever and just tap this three settings and just tap the settings and over here lock app when when to lock this app you from locking the screen you should set to exit them so each and every time so let me open the chrome so it's locked i just exited again 
sorry again i lock you can see yeah i am gonna exit give a moment yeah see each and every time while i open exit the app automatically the app would get locked so that is it so let's go back to the app lock and if you want to disable the app lock just go to the app lock section and just disable or you can just bulkly disable like this also and next is hide apps so just tap over here and to verify my privacy password and that's it and i'm gonna hide adudu benchmark as well as uh, the cpu test and it can be done with the help of access code how to set this access code this access code is like if your pin is 1234 then you need to start with a hash and end with the hash this is as simple as it is so just want to tap the settings and if my pin is 1111 so i'm gonna type a hash 1111 hash you're good to go so that's it and then i'm, I'm gonna select a few applications which you need to hide so let it be Arduino benchmark and cpu road test and uh, let it be both Arduino benchmark so we have two of the Arduino benchmarks over here so let's start from yeah so i have disabled so you can see now the both are the minimums have been hidden over here and the CPU test can't be seen. You can see, you can just check it out quickly. And now how to access that? Just go to my dialer. So whatever your pin is, just start with the hash 1111, dial your pin and end with the hash. You can see all of them would be listed over here, both are the minimums as well as CPU test. And again, in the same way, just go to the same location, hide apps and just uh, throw your pattern and just disable and now you are good to go with the hide applications and next is private safe this is like a secure folder or you can see a separate files place for hide your files photos videos documents and other files so and it is also asking whether you want to use your fingerprint scan or face so i am just gonna be used for this type and just tap the images and videos and just tap the plus what happens is you can select photos from the gallery or video so you can see i'm just gonna hide everything in my gallery right now and you can see set as private so it is setting as private it's moved completely and now if i open the gallery of mine you can see it's completely clean no that nothing is there but you can see a private so just tap the private and it can be verified with your face and you can see all the data would be here so usually a person of just coming to this location couldn't find your data and uh, just tap the settings and if you don't want that private or be should be here just tap show private album just disable that you can see now if i open see it's completely hidden no idea for a new user to find the price next is system loader. that means it is having two phones in a single phone like if you just tap the system loader and just get get started and uh, screen pattern just should be this one yeah so you can see creating system clone and uh, next so you, you can select a separate uh, clone password so let it be this guy which i have already used for okay so so let it, let i skip this fingerprint scan and face screen for the moment right now and enter system clone so this would be a completely new phone i can see a minor yeah it's done taking a bit of time to analyze that simple pattern oops 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 yeah done yeah okay yes yes yeah it's done so you can see it's completely a new phone with a new set of data you can see no none of my installed applications are here you can see it can't find my youtube benchmark uh, cpu router nothing is there and you can see a completely fresh new gallery over so if you are giving this phone like to someone then no worries that your data would be shown at all so no need to worry and how to go back to same location just lock your phone and unlock with your primary pattern so that is my primary pattern is this guy and now it will be automatically switched to your primary phone and now this gallery, this gallery would contain photos it could be having my identity benchmark and again so currently my phone is locked and someone stranger maybe a stranger or not as someone a person who are not that familiar of so needs your phone so you need to just unlock with the secondary pattern so that is this pattern this is of the clone phone now automatically the guy receives this clone set of data as well as uh, files so no need to worry so just you can see files completely new nothing no data is here and after the use just again lock your phone and unlock with your primary see and go back to your normal phone how to go to your preferred application directly from the lock screen so you would be saying just draw an m draw w and draw uh, this apparel for going to the specific application like this no no need to do that so i would 
show you an alternate way. You can just simply press and hold your fingerprint scanner and you can see it automatically vents to your file of application and you can just select the application which you need and just release your finger instantly it will be boom goes to the application which you need you can see install and test so that you can vent to the other image work and if you just press and hold and just leave your finger over here and just open the next that's just leave the finger on whichever desired application you can see it goes to the specific application so just go to settings and just scroll down to find the special features and over here you can see quick launch and you can just tap the edit and select the features or functions or apps which you want to use like you can see a lot of settings shortcuts are there like the retouch selfie portrait directly video directly and a lot of new tabs uh, shots from the youtube so a lot of customization so select the one which you are frequently using so you, that you can use it with ease and directly from the lock screen itself so that's the quick launch feature which we are discussing and next is the flexible windows so you need to just turn on i'll show you how to use this so just i'm just opening this application uh, chrome and just go over here and just tap this three dots over here and you can see floating window just tap the floating window over here you can see it appears like a small floating window and meanwhile you can also use the next application and this would be also appear like a floating over here and if you just tap over here you can just see just close it directly and again if you tap floating window see it would be over there and meanwhile you can use the other application like this and whenever you need this application just tap and even you can increase or decrease size like this see? and if you want in big screen just give a drag and automatically it opens in the big screen so a lot of customization that's the flexible window option over there and apart from that then next is a split screen view or you can see split view that means opening two apps at the same window so currently i'm at the chrome i need a second application so i have already turned on you can open this flexible window but actually this this app would be primary and this would be appear like a small secondary app but if you need both application to be priority then just do a three finger swipe up and select the next application which you need like the gallery you can see same time you can see both are given the same priority and even you can switch between this top and bottom so that is the specs screen view so that is also available in the uh, special features section next is the edge panel on the realme 12 plus yes you heard it right as, as we had discussed about this assistive touch feature actually i would say this is just having the basic set of features so that means if you just tap it can do features you can just double tap to have a function just press and hold to have a function like this but it can't assign to application the reason is there is the edge uh panel over here you can just swipe like this it automatically opens the edge panel and you can see a lot of apps are there and if you want to select it just tap the edit and select the application which you frequently use from this long list you can see you can add a long list and whichever application you don't need just untick just click that minus button and select the application which you need and you are good to go done done and now whichever screen you are in like you are browsing the chrome and instantly you need to open another application the very important thing is this application will be opening in a small window if you just tap over here you can see it won't distract the current application you can see it automatically opens in a floating window so you can just drag this like this it can automatically go like an edge icon over here and if you need it back just do like this and if you don't need just do this so it would be automatically like this and again tap so it is so flexible and it is really good to use it's most of the times now let's start off the display and brightness starting off you can see the display and brightness over here starting off we have the dark mode as well as the light mode over here and you can see a schedule from time to time you can set like sunset sunrise or some custom timings like this time you went to bed and time you wake up and also you can set it up in your reference and you can see the auto brightness section and you can see color mode option and you can see by default it would be on vivid but i would recommend just go to the pro mode and select the brilliant that is where you get the maximum saturated colors so you need to definitely check it out and one more thing is that you just try this all all of them and which one you personally feel the best just set it up don't listen to my words just try it out which one you feel the best and in my preference i just prefer the pro mode just go to the pro modes and just select which this let me be and select the brilliant for the maximum colors and also you can have the custom setup for the screen color temperature so you can do that also but actually i don't like that type of settings and i just go to this screen color mode promotes and just go to brilliant and switch that's it so that's it regarding the screen color mode and next is the eye comfort shield which have a lot of options over here you can see you can set the screen color temperature like low high and all and also you can make sure it is in color black and white and also it 
if you are having some power issues on your eye then definitely i would recommend to turn this feature on also if you are using your phone in your room in the night time without turning any of the lights you should definitely turn this on and if you have minor power issues then definitely you need to turn this feature on and that's it regarding the eye comfort then we have that phone uh, sizes and all features you can see i just you can see the phone sizes and all and you can see the increase of phone size phone styles phone styles over here and apart from that we have the display size large small or whatever you like that and then apart from that we have this video color boost that means your standard dynamic range would be a bit enhanced to high dynamic range with the help of some AI and all and that's the video color boost and then we have the bright hdr video mode that means the normal hdr brightness would be increased for hdr videos that means when you're playing hdr videos then automatically the brightness would be increased to the maximum which is available and then apart from that you have the adaptive sleep option then we have the screen refill you can see high automatically most time it would be on 120 itself and for the less to conserve battery you need to switch to 60 hertz and auto select at any moment you feel like the phone is on 60 or something like that like that then you need to switch to high forcefully then you can experience 120 hertz all of the time so that is it regarding the display and now let's just switch to the home screen lock screen starting off from the home screen mode we have the classic launcher that's the standard mode without any app launcher and drawer mode without means with app launcher so you can set it up with your personal preference and apart from that just go back and we can have a few features like swipe down on home screen like if your phone using your phone with one hand if you just swipe down then this screen appears and actually this is a bit annoying so i would definitely really recommend just press and tap this over over here and just swipe down on just tap over here and switch to notification right that means if you just swipe down automatically the most important notification panel would be down over there and uh, just again go to settings and just go to the home screen and lock screen so that option is also over here and then we have the basic double tap to lock feature over there just turn it on and then we have the raised wake which i already turned on previously and then we have the lock screen shortcuts for left as well as right you can see in just the left and right you can see you can just tap set it up and apart from that we have the clock styles where the should be just on the tickle style like this let me lock see like this or horizontal then it would be like this so you can set it up that also so minor minor uh, features over there and then we have icon pull down just so i would show you just quickly so currently you can see if i'm using this one hand you i can't access this my files but if i do this icon pull down just that means i can see and leave my finger on whatever application i need like it be my files and you can see automatically it applies so you need to draw a small rainbow arrow over here and select the application you can see like this see select the application leave your finger again so sometimes it can pop up the google but actually if you need a few more practices then you're good to go with this type of setup and it is really fun to use so that is the icon pull down gesture over there and now let's go back to this same location so that we have covered this area and you can see this is the hb to fetch variant and you can see this can't uh, not showing the amount of ram it is being using so you need to go back this recent task manager and just tap and display ram information and now if you see you can see 2.4 gb available out of 8 plus 4 gb so it can be expanded up to 8 plus 8 gb so uh, it is in the external ram feature so you can check it out there also and that is the home screen and lock screen and then apart from that we have the notifications as well and here are few important features you can see if you want to show the real-time uploading speed download speed then you need to turn on the real-time network speed and if you don't want any of these features just disable that so that is a bit important for you and then apart from that we have a feature called notification history that is in the more settings and you can see notifications that means if someone sends you a whatsapp message and then deleted that message for everyone but your mobile data was turned on that message was received on your phone but you were not available at the time but no need to worry just turn on the switch what happens is whichever notifications come to your phone with the exact timestamp it would be displayed over here no need to worry if you miss it just go to the notification tree and you can see all the notifications with the timestamp on all so that would be really interesting Next, obviously this is the AMOLED display so obviously it would be having the OLED display so it's on over here so before that wallpapers are installed you can have the wallpapers a lot of wallpapers are there and we can have some live wallpapers with some really nice effects and ooh, wow 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 you can see i just love this one so let me enable and apart from that let me check few of them no 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 okay these are just basic sets i just love the first wallpaper i will show you once again okay no okay nothing is oh okay okay okay. you can see if i just 
unlock you can see wow oh. so it's simple but seems cool and so that's the wallpapers and apart from that we have always on display so just turn it on and you can see contextual info and if you want this type of music playback to be shown over there just turn it on else you can just leave it right away itself and then we have the more display settings and whatever information you need to show whether you want to show the date battery if you don't need the battery just tap the battery automatically battery will be shown shown and if you don't need notification just tap the notification notification will be not be shown so you can just customize it in your own way and if if you turn on new notifications what happens is show the new notification always and that means if someone sent you a watch message then the new notification would be shown on the always on display itself and then we have a lot of customizations for always on display you can see not lot a bit of customization i would say and apart from that we have the themes which we need to download from basic themes are here and apart from that we need to open the theme store and download more and then we have the phone which i have already seen in the display settings and we have the icons and uh, you can see some really cool stuff and this is the same setup which you have seen in the oneplus 12 bar i will just show a quick glance of the same settings customization what we person style always on display and you can see and before that you can see this type of icons icons so you can see the same exact so both we are running on the same almost same set and you can see the same customization so it's on the oneplus 12 bar so it's really good at the one realme 12 plus is using the same thing and uh, both share the same base thing and next is the colors and we have this is called the color palette all option like if you see over you can on green and if you want to switch to other interesting like blue color and all or let like be red okay and now if you see it's switched to the red so you can just make sure you prefer color and then the quick settings now it's in the round and if you want to square you can just select the square circle other shapes and all and then the fingerprint animation so a lot of animations so select the preferred one and next is edge lighting and the thing is this is a basic edge lighting just the thing is the one plus 12 r also have this basic type of uh, edge lighting if you see just go to the edge lighting, you can see just three of them 12 are also just three colors that's it and if you just take a look on this iq this is iq neo 9 pro and if you just take a look for the iq neo 9 pro you can see the level of customization you can set the color transparency width and you can see the effect which is getting over there and you can see even select a custom color exactly like samsung i will just show you just go to settings and just scroll down to the notifications and you can see no notification pop style and you can see edge lighting you can see the same level even higher level of customization for the samsung you can see it's a bit more advanced than the iq but iq is also giving me a really good and you can see custom colors everything can be selected and even even advanced so this is the first in terms of the edge lighting and second for the iq and the oneplus and this realme who share the base os is just bad in this type of edge lighting so i prefer more customization so i would select definitely select a samsung device next is while you turn on the high performance mode then only this high end application would run to the maximum performance and you can see this is in the more settings just open the battery and just have the more settings and you can see performance mode just turn this on for the maximum performance and what happens is if you turn on the maximum performance the phone would get a bit warm than the normal so that is happening in the uh, performance mode we have a few half big features like on the realme labs just go to settings and just scroll you can see realme labs first of all you can see her trade measurement just press and hold like this let's see 14 seconds 13 seconds so 93 96 99 oops 95 98 102 104 okay so 97 bpm so let it be it's a feature is there so maybe with the upcoming updates it even get better and then we have a dual mode audio feature also available over here you can see connect to both a pair of earphones and a pair of wired phones and you can just play them at the same time and next now let's quickly let's look at the camera starting off we have the night mode and a pro nightscape option over there and which have a lot of customization and then we have a street mode in 16 mm 26 mm and 52 mm focal length we can change use this street mode and apart from that we have a zoom mode over there auto zoom mode option and then we have a oh, manual focus and auto focus option and then apart from that let's see what are we getting we are getting a timer and interval and some basic settings and then in video we are getting this one so it's rupee at 60 fps stabilization which is really good ultra steady and we can record up to 4k at 30 fps option um, which is also cool and then we have photo and we have filters over here and apart from that we have some retouch options 
which is making off the smoothing and all and then we have the ultra wide 1x 2x and maximum up to 20x we can go and then apart from that we have the portrait mode let me see yeah it can be shown in 1x and 2x and then we have the focal depth effect which can be applied and then we have the filters and then we have the retouch options over there and then we have the pro mode panoramic mode high resolution that means makes uh, 50 mb and then we have the macro mode film mode which takes this type of uh, type of cinema mode of videos which has options over there and which is looks really cool and then apart from that we have the slow motion time lapse long exposure dual view that means front and back at the same time and even this iq neo 9 pro does not have this dual view video and i will just quickly show you just open the camera and uh, disagree just you can see you can't see this dual view video which is a really cool feature even this realme have that but this iq doesn't and uh, apart from that we have the text scanner group portrait and tilt shift so guys, these are the quick tips, tricks, hidden features, and sitting on the video of the Realme 12 Plus. So guys, that's it for today. Signing off, it's for Mania.